Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I did start trying to do a playthrough for this on Friday, but I took a break and then I started streaming without the camera because I was still eating. But then I went back to play and I thought I started the stream again, but I didn't. So I got drastically far on the story and it just, it didn't work out. So we're going to go ahead and start over. I did beat the game uh, once on the one that I started on stream and then also I did a speed run just to go through and got the S rank for Claire on the standard mode. So we got that out of the way and now we're going to start from scratch and do it again. I have Kokori right here and you could see a little bit of Ari's tail. So we're going to go ahead and start it. We are going to do it as the first playthrough for Claire. That way we can go ahead and get that started. I do want to do each storyline. So Claire first run and Leon first run, Claire second run, and Leon second run. So we're going to start with Claire just because I know it like the back of my hand now. So we'll go ahead and get that out of the way. I'm not going to skip the scenes, at least in the first playthrough, just so that you guys get a chance to see everything. I was like skipping through them like crazy when I did my speedrun, but I want you guys to be able to see it for the people who aren't able to play the game, or at least not able to play it right now. Because I know a lot of people haven't had a chance to play it or buy it or anything, so this is for you guys. Live vicariously through me. And one thing that's cool about this game too is you can actually get the audio in a variety of languages. I'm just going to do it in English for now just because I feel like that's easier for other people. But when I was doing the playthrough, like I was able to use like the Japanese language and it was just kind of nice to change it up. And the voice acting actually is not terrible for the English voice acting, which is really surprising because especially in like the original and previous other Resident Evil games, the voice acting in English is just garbage and is like literally a hilarious part of it. So I'm glad that they did a good job on it this time. Dun dun dun. But thank you guys for joining me. Again, I am sorry that my other stream didn't really work out and like I forgot to stream half of it. But we're starting from scratch again, so you guys get to see everything. And obviously when you beat the game, you get a chance to use the alternate costume for her. So she's wearing biker shorts instead of the pants. Hello? Oh, in here? case you guys are wondering, I also do have it as the original soundtrack. So it's not the updated as of right now because Hello? I forgot to change the settings. I'll try to tinker around with it and maybe change it if you guys don't like it. Dun dun dun. Are you okay? Again, I feel like if I was like in that dire state and bleeding to death, I wouldn't just be like, oh, go check out over there. Go help that guy out. I'd be like, no, you need to call me an ambulance. Most certainly did not have that. 
And this game is a lot more graphic than it was in the original. So if you guys are squeamish, then I suggest turn around. Hey Camilo, how's it going? I'm doing our... This will be my fourth playthrough. I have no self-control. But my previous stream didn't work out, so we're starting from scratch for this one. Run away! I have not played as Leon. I did my first initial playthrough as Claire, just like taking my time and checking everything out and doing all the puzzles like by myself. And then I did it the second time as the S rank speedrun for her. So I went through literally doing everything as fast as I can, missing a whole bunch of items and files. And then I did one last night as well, because I was trying to go back through getting like the Mr. Raccoons, just because I'm an achievement hound. <laughs> so I wanted to make sure that I got more of those that I missed. So as soon as I am done with this one, I'm gonna go through my first playthrough as Leon. Which I'm kind of not looking forward to because I know in the original, and I'm pretty sure it happens in this one as well, you have to face the tyrant, aka like Mr. X, whatever people are like dubbing him, like pretty much the whole game. And it's ridiculous. So I'm kind of skittish to play it. I'm not scared, I just, I know it's gonna be a lot more difficult, but we'll get there. We'll finish this one and then do his, and then go through the second playthroughs for both so that we can get like the true ending. Yes, it is a marathon. To be honest, I've been kind of just marathoning it since it came out. We're gonna go ahead and skip this part just because it is credits and it's not like any like exposition or anything. Attention. I mentioned this in my previous stream, but I still don't understand why they're telling people to go to the police station when obviously you get to the police station not even like 10 minutes after this. And clearly everyone there is pretty much dead. They don't have food, they don't have water or shelter. So I don't know why they're broadcasting for people to go there. And when she gets there, she locks the door so no one can get in there anyway. So it's like, did Claire murder extra people? Or <laughs> was there no one left alive? Looks like we're walking from here. I like how like calm they are about the whole scenario. They're just like, oh, okay. It's like she told him like, oh, don't forget to grab milk while you're at the store. And he's like, yeah, okay. Like that's the level of calmness he has. I was like, oh shit, yeah. Holy shit. There, get out. Get out now! I mean, would you really want to go out there with the zombies, though? Oh, okay, so in Claire 2, Leon 2, they did that in the original as well, but they did reprise it for this game. But um, when you finish the game, I'm sure you've noticed because you said you finished it too. It has, uh, when you finish the game as one counterpart, it allows you to do a second run of the other character. So in the case where I've obviously beaten the game as Claire, you unlock a second run for Leon. 
so when you go through as Leon for the second run, um, like combinations for like certain codes are a little bit different. Yeah, okay? You get a couple different files. Um, it's just, for the most part, like the storyline is pretty much the same, but there are like a few little changes here and there that still makes it interesting. And I know that, um, like especially on Leon's case, he runs into the tyrant like a couple different places that he didn't normally like in his first run. Can't stop. Gotta keep moving. So there are a little bit of differences, but once you finish the first run and second run, you unlock like the true ending. The the oh, you said you played it two times. <laughs> I thought you meant like you finished the game twice. Apparently, I am too much of an eager beaver. I thought you were the same way. But yeah, when you beat the game, you unlock the opportunity to play through as, well, in my case, as Leon in a second run. But I want to do his first run before I do the second run, just to get it out of the way. But when you beat the game, you also get their alternate costumes. So she's wearing like shorts instead of pants. She has like a little vest on instead of a jacket. Oh, okay. Apparently I have no life, so I had time. And then in the second playthrough, I know that this is like uh, taken down, so you can actually go through there. And uh, in the first game, if you were able to go through there, um, you get to see Brad Anybody Vickers here? from the first one as a zombie, so that's pretty fun. I am an eager beaver. I really am. <laughs> the second I got it, I was like, gotta play. And then I finished it and I was like, oh, I could do this faster, better, stronger. They're inside too. David, Marvin, you there? I found a way out. It's in here. No good. Send reinforcements. He's torn away. I mean, there very much literally is not any reinforcements, so I'm pretty sure. We don't have to help him. Okay, so for those that don't know, if you pre-order the game, you get the gun that is Chris model and Jill model. If you pre-order the deluxe version of the game, you also get the Albert Wesker model, which is a lot more like powerful and more like advanced. But if you do a speed run, like I proved <laughs> through last night, you also get the Samurai Edge, which is unlimited ammo for it. So I'm going to be kind of like cheating and use the unlimited ammo one for this stream just because it makes it a lot easier. But to do the speed run for the standard edition of the game, you have to beat the game in within three and a half hours. So I went through running and <laughs> screaming and everything and did that. So I beat the game in three hours, 29 minutes, and like 53 seconds or something. Like I was literally like seven minutes away from the border. It was obnoxious. Don't forget first aid. I know you get an achievement for like not running around like back and forth a whole lot. Like you take a certain amount of steps in the game and you get an achievement, but I'm not one of those people. <laughs> I always have to like go back and forth through the item box. Would you get an achievement for not using the item box at all too? That also will not be me. <laughs> I like how she's just fine with like crawling into bloody investedness. She's totally okay with it.
Yeah, it was literally seven seconds shy of it. It was obnoxious. I mean, I could probably have done it a little bit faster because I did kind of like do a couple of the puzzles a little bit slower than I probably could have. But I like just made it. I was like, go, go. Literally everything I did. Do we need to turn on this light? Does it do anything? Da -da -da. So if I'm like running through things pretty quickly, I do apologize. I just got the main concept down. Although I did notice uh, that in some of the playthroughs, you do have a little bit of a difference between like when certain zombies will like come up and like grab you and stuff so it does still kind of keep it like a little different to like shake it up <laughs> it's okay your like bottom half of your body is gone but i got you you're fine No, this one isn't going to be a speed run. Since I already did the speed run for her, then there's not really a reason to like rush. I'm going to do a little bit more casual so people who haven't gotten a chance to play can actually see a little bit more of it. And like see some of the files and stuff. If it was a speed run, I would be uh, skipping all of the scenes because I believe those count towards your time. Can you not? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> That's one thing that's definitely different about this than the originals. The zombies definitely take a lot more to die. Can you not? Ooh. That did it. <laughs> Whoops, went the wrong way again. down. Thank you. Uh, well, it's not technically like a collector's edition because I know the collector's edition, when you get it from like GameStop, it came with like an art book and like a uh, Leon Kennedy like model sort of thing. But with the deluxe edition that I got from the PlayStation Store, it came with a couple different outfits for Leon, uh, three different outfits for Claire, the guns that I just showed in the item box, and the original soundtrack, which I have going right now. Thanks. Obviously someone taught you well. Yeah. Your I'm mom. I'm to take care of myself. Come on. Do you really want to take his hand though? Like, he already looks like he's about to turn into a zombie. So nobody knows what caused this? And I have Kokori here. And Ari Booty right here. For, sure is that this place is for my company. <laughs> on me. Hey, hey, keep that on. Just in case. I'm not going to be around long. Once I find Chris, we're out of here. Really, Chris's sister? Yeah. Why? Did you find something? He's on vacation. Europe, I think, about weeks ago. Vacation? That's, that's great news. Well, I've got more for you. She's like, that like doesn't like sound like him. This secret passageway. Good. <gasps> Thanks for putting blood on my notebook. We should probably get you to the hospital. Uh, forget about me. 
You saw how the streets are. Do you think the hospital is any different? <laughs> I mean, I won't. <laughs> Take them out if you can. <laughs> when I was doing the speed run, I literally like run past so many zombies. I was like, I don't have time to kill you whatsoever. He's not doing so good. Yeah, combat knife. Thank you. Let's see. Let's see if I happen to remember what this was. Nailed it! <laughs> You've done it a couple times, you remember, I guess. Although there are some codes and uh, certain puzzles that are different literally to each player and each playthrough. So just because something works one time doesn't mean it's gonna work yeah. Like, yeah, all the time. Good. So even if you try to, like, find the answer online, it's not gonna help. Let's see... Do we have stuff to drop off? Mm, maybe we should keep the knife. Just in case. Uh, anything else? Do, do, do. Sorry, I just don't want to have my pockets full. She only has a certain amount, so... Did I mention this game's a little bit more graphic than the original? Because it very much is. Not today. I like how there's like a crunching sound that lets you know that they're like dead dead. Just in case. <laughs> oh yeah, I heard that some people were having issues trying to stream with HDR. So they had to take off the mode. I'm glad you got it fixed, though. Pretty much, long story short, they didn't do so well. <laughs> I'll take that. There's something over here. Let's check. 
You're gonna be broadcasting later. Are you gonna be doing it on Twitch or just like PlayStation? Ooh. Juicy. trying to live his life. Ugh, that looks uncomfortable. I've fallen asleep a couple times like that though. Maybe that was like, your gear settings was to make it go to Twitch. Do do do. Let's see, this one is... N... D... And then... M... R... G... You're technically supposed to... go through their names and such. Yeah, there's definitely more viewers on Twitch. And I'm gonna cheat just because I don't wanna have to keep coming back. You find this information from one of the files you get later, but I'm impatient, I want it now. Everyone wants their inventory expanded. No one wants to wait. Oh wait. Do, do, do. Look, it's locked. Okay. Oh, I forgot there's stuff in here. Now it's clear. Um, 106 and 109, we can do those right now. Just to get the most of what we can while we can. In order to open the rest of them, you need to find little buttons to be able to unlock it. those little boards help, but they do. Just saying, hey, you can get red herbs and mix them with green herbs. Dun -dun -dun -dun. do our first save of the stream. You maxed out at five viewers. Sometimes that's hard 
Like, sometimes you'll get a bunch of viewers, like, out of nowhere. But, like, if you don't, like, notify people that you're streaming, like, right now, like, I don't get a whole ton of them. Was my fault. <laughs> Why are you still alive? <laughs> still? Okay. <laughs> Sometimes I'm very thankful that I have infinite ammo. They take way too many shots. Already messing it up. No. Nope. There we go. Ugh, I hate this thing so much. Dang it. No! I keep doing it wrong. is going to bother me so much. No! <laughs> this is bothering me to no end. <sighs> Finally! I 
hate these things. These are one of the things that you can't, like, look up the answer to. It literally changes every time. <gasps> Nothing like a zombie. This is written on a wall downstairs. Cheat again. <laughs> really shouldn't be, but why not? Your neighborhood friendly liquor. No big deal. Pretty much saying if there's a liquor, don't run or else you're gonna piss them off. Essentially. Not like I really need the boards for anything. this Blair, it's Marvin. How fast can you get back here? Why was that? So fast. I've got something to show you. It's important. All right, I'm on my way. Put down the thing. Thank you. God, she takes forever. Ooh, that was an inappropriate shot, but I'm glad it happened. Shit. Why? Ooh, it's so graphic. Brain matter. I'm on to you. Zombies don't sleep. have a key for that. <laughs> oh, 
Oh wait. There's some ammo over here. Not like we need it right now, but just to have it. Didn't oh. take my sweet time. Oh my god, he made it! You know him? Yeah, it's Leon. Uh, Kennedy, I think? Oh, uh, yeah. The rookie. Thought he looked familiar. Did you really need to say his last name, though? Courtyard. Like, it's a survivor in a zombie Second apocalypse. Floor. Let him in. Okay. Thanks, Marvin. I'm on it. She's so happy and eager. this might want to use some first aid though Pretty much saying, like, oh, it was an art station. Mm -hmm. Time to cheat again. You also get an achievement for doing all the locks and combinations and stuff in the game. You get that from a file from downstairs. I mean, I kind of want a scepter like that. You could clunk it over people's heads. Run! Whoa. Why she sounds surprised? Like she was going there to meet him. Leon. I said it before and I'll say it again. Why can't he just climb the fence? Please chop just with everything that they're able to do in this Fine. game, you think he would just be like, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> you don't have the key. No, you don't. It's good to see your face though. How are you holding up? Why does she look like she's like trying to flirt? Just when you think you can't get any worse. Leon, you should get going. Don't worry about me. Just get yourself to safety. Or I don't know. Climb the fence. No, seriously, they're getting through the fence. Please just go. 
We're gonna make it. Both of us. Yay, Yay. I love picking up for you. I've got zombies everywhere. Marvin? Marvin, are you there? Marvin? Put your radio away. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> Yeah. Oh no. Ah shit. <laughs> We're gonna have to come back. <laughs> Even with all of my extra hip pouches. I meant discard. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, let's grab a couple of those items just so we don't backtrack later. We got everything. We'll go ahead and save again. this way so we can use the chain thingy again. No. 
many bullets do I need to put in your face? No. What the fuck? the corner and face me. Why? Why is there so many zombies in this one hallway? Zombies and their drama. That should be good. I'm pretty sure that's like a bait zombie and he doesn't actually like get up or anything. He like falls over. So I think he's literally just there for like scare tactics. The hell is that? That is our first look at a licker. Because why not?
That's for one of the combinations. That's all we really need in here right now. <sighs> Liquors are so frightening in this game because like they move like while you're tiptoeing past them. And if you even slightly graze them, they will kill you. This one. Yes, <laughs> I remember that one. Da -da -da. Oh, I guess I could just go upstairs into the library. What am I doing? Set a bomb. And run away! If you try to run out the other door, when the bomb goes off, the door you just exited out of actually gets blocked by a bookcase. And you actually <laughs> can't go out that way. Okay, this one is Maiden Arrow Snake. It's like all like the burnt pieces pretty much. Ah! <laughs> he was so close. It's not fun when they scratch you because it takes a lot of damage. It is so obnoxious. Now we can do our medals. Nailed it. Looks like it leads underground. Good. Get out of this hell hole. Hey, Marvin! Guess what? I think I found a way out. Marvin, come on. Let's get you out of here. Let's go. Mm -hmm. You okay? I mean, he has a gun, right? Does he not have ammo left? No. Or does he I just not care? Just go. Save yourself. Come on. It's bad. That cleavage, Please, though. Blair. We both know how this is going to end. Get out of the city. I can't just leave you here. Claire, please. You can't go. save him. Do this for me. 
because we've developed such a great bond. It looks like he's trying to kiss her. It's awkward. Okay. Hey, Marvin. Thank you. For what? All I really did was save you when you were climbing out of the thing and bash a zombie's head in and hand you a knife. That's pretty much all he did. Just trying to make sure the map gets completed. Hello? <sighs> Hello? Sherry. Literally gives me migraine. trying. I mean, it helps that I don't have to, like, investigate everything like I did my first playthrough. My first playthrough took me, like, eight and a half hours. So that was when I was, like, literally like, oh, what's over here in this corner? Okay. Let me check everything. You, and I was, like, looking around and exploring everything. But this one, like, I know pretty much where everything is. Why does she Sorry, have to say that? Job. Why doesn't she just say run or something? When I went to Comic Con a couple years ago, there was actually a guy cosplaying as Lloyd Birkin, and he had like the eye, like prosthetic and everything. It was amazing. Yeah, I would investigate like literally everything possible. Yeah, I got it. I've combined a couple items in my day. Oh, 
All I see is like a little like fiery thing. Knife to the eye. burn something in this game, it still shows that it's burnt. Like in the old games, you would do like whatever and then it would just like brush it off after a few seconds. Show me your ugly ass eye. What? No. Counts on me again. You need your ugly ass eye to come out. charging me. There it 
that just a flash grenade? I feel like this is taking a really long time. <laughs> Normally it doesn't take that long. I think I used all my stuff. Oh wait, I have a flashbang back. There we go. God, that took forever. <laughs> Is it though? Are you sure? Yeah, I promise. Everything's fine. I just need you to lower that ladder for me. Will you help me find my mom? Yeah. Your mom is down here? I think so. I hope so. Yeah, of course. I'll help you. Yay? Whatever it takes for you to lower the ladder, I'll help you. This way! Generally in a game that they tell you this way, you should go the opposite way to check out everything. It won't move. You got it. It wasn't that hard. <laughs> so, what's your mom like? You know, the reason that everyone's dying. Well, hopefully you'll get to see her again soon. So, where's your dad? He, um... Yes. Worked with my mom, but... He's... Oh. Wow. Both of my parents are gone. And it's just me and my brother. <laughs> Combine some herbs while we're here. Do I have anything left? Like a knife? There we go. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be. It means we've got something in common, and that's a good thing, right? Hmm, maybe?
Here. Come on. Over there. No shit. Oh, I just noticed that she has a different little outfit on than when I first played through because I'm using the alternate costume for Claire. So she has an alternate costume too. That's kind of cute. Here, come out. And you're sure this is the way? This is how my mom took me last time. Sherry? I've been looking everywhere for you, Sherry. Brave little girl, leave her house in the middle of this mess. On the ground, hands behind your head. You can't be serious. On the ground, now. This Harry, guy is such a dick. Oh my god. Shut up. There's such a loud truck outside, I'm sorry. Maybe it was okay, a motorcycle, then. I don't know. You tie her up now, or she dies. This guy is like the epitome of like the douchebag dick in this game. What's this all about? So he's kidnapping a little girl. He is working to sell military weapons, chemical warfare sort of scenario. He murdered the, I think it's like the mayor's daughter or something. And he did taxidermy stuff on her. What's your fucking name? Claire! Sherry, you come with me now, or say goodbye to Claire. Okay, okay, I'll go! You better be taking me to my mom. Absolutely. Don't listen to him, he's like, shit. Whoa. Uh, stop hurting her, please! Don't tell me how to do my job. Don't tell me how to do my job. Your job is to beat people. Obviously nobody talks to matter. We'll fix that. Go, yes we will. Let me go! Let me go! I'll get you, you fucker! I like how she does like no chill about cussing in front of the little girl. It's very realistic. Stay safe, Sherry. Da -da -da. He card first, then that asshole gets what's coming to him. Is she Must planning murder? Finds out he's the chief Bastard of police. Of police chief? Yes. That's the thing letting you know, like, oh, Mr. Raccoon, he doesn't want you to shoot him, but, like, you get rewarded for shooting him. I think if you shoot literally all the Mr. Raccoons in the game, then you get the, uh, unbreakable combat knife. And as amazing as that sounds, I have to wonder, like, if you stick it in, like, a boss or something, and it falls, like, in the fight that I just had. If you stick the knife in the boss and he falls off the edge, you can't get it back. Happy liquor days. <laughs> and I do not have anything right now. I hate this part. <laughs> Get away. Don't mind me. 
just trying to survive. This guy gives me so many problems. There's only a couple zombies in the game that, like, they literally will not go down, no matter how much you put into them. Serious? Like, you can literally just keep shooting the crap out of him and he will keep coming. Unless you take off his head. So, that worked. I will take that flash grenade because I'm going to need that on my way back. I'm pretty sure. We don't really need anything else from here for the rest of the game. It's okay to just run out of the room. Uh. Go! Why aren't you running? Go! Go! <laughs> The reason you have to like stop running is because there's another one literally right there. And if he hears you running, he will kill you. Ah! He heard me anyway! Run away! Oh god. <laughs> but thankfully, they calmed down. Like, literally, when you exit. <sighs> hey, lookers. You don't know if they're gonna actually, like, do something or not. Zombies are getting up, so we're just gonna run out. Yeah, you can see them. They break through the door. Oh, he's right there. Haha! -ha. This fancy gun. Run. That's for the grenade launcher, because the aim on it is pretty terrible. Oh yeah, this is how you find out about his, the mayor's daughter. He's talking about all the animals that he's taxidermied 
This one, he calls it a pig, but obviously it's 22 year old that's 5'3. Soft, sweet, and white all over. It's all mine. Creeper. I just don't like him. He's such a perv. So we need to get the parts for this in order to get to the key card. Of course, <laughs> nothing's that simple. Let's see, where is my grenade launcher? There we go. going back. Mm. Maybe just in case. Those of you that don't know, there is a Mr. Raccoon here. Mr. Zombie's gonna break through you because he can. technically used a board, but Shot his hand off. Oh wait, I think you get an achievement for shooting off their limbs or something. Oh, you have to like make it come off. Gotta do more, I guess. Ugh. I don't know if I could make his head come off though. You 
have to do it when they're alive. <sighs> oh my gosh. There we go. No? Oh my god, there's so many pieces left. Graphic. I'm sorry, guys. No. There's something that says, like, Take off all the limbs of a zombie so that it's like literally just a torso. Didn't we do that? <laughs> I keep hearing sloshy sounds. Oh my god. I don't even know where his arm is anymore. Okay, I'm just gonna give up. <laughs> That's something we'll investigate later. Uh, this part's obnoxious. So there is a room that did this in the original Resident Evil 2. And if you ran in this room, then a liquor would break through. Like, just in general, like, just running in it would open it. But now... It's a little different. <laughs> it's literally when you go to leave. <sighs> I can't believe that worked. <sighs> That thing is like the bane of my existence. Mm. We're kind of running out of room right now, so. I think we'll put this back. Um, that'll have to be good enough for right now. But when I was younger, that terrified me. When it would break through the glass. I hate running out of room. I don't know how to do the like minimalist award because you literally have to not open the item box like at all. And I don't know how you can go and do that. 
I feel like I'm constantly going back. Sure. We'll go ahead and end the stream right here. I think we did pretty decent coverage. We played for a little over an hour. I think we got pretty decently far. So um, yeah, I might change the soundtrack back to what it's supposed to be intended. I think we might do Yeah, so we were doing original, we'll do a remake. And let's change their costumes. Let's do the Noor. Because when you do it with this costume, it changes the whole screen to like black and white. And it's really cool. It looks like you're like in an old like, gangster movie. So I think we'll go ahead and do that just so we can change it up for our next stream. And I'm going to take a break, eat, and maybe we will get on and stream a little bit and a little bit. <laughs> a little bit and a little bit. Anyways, I'm tired. I will see you guys later. Bye guys. <laughs>